It's a beautiful morning, da 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 da. Hey, hello and welcome there to the Men Cave here at Wistful Vistas in beautiful suburban San Diego, California. We've just had the sun pop up. We're about mid-morning. It's about uh, 75 degrees out there. What's that in Celsius? Uh, it'll be right about there. <laughs> <clears throat> but let's get to the subject at hand. Occasionally, not often, but occasionally I'm sent something to try out by a manufacturer and uh, I have something like that today. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have from Moto Dynamics a tail tidy that they wanted me to try out. Now they're working on this. These are uh, prototypes, I assume, but pretty close to the uh, finished product. So uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna install it on my 2021 Tuono. Now, a couple of words beforehand. Firstly, I already have a tail tidy installed by another manufacturer, so our disassembly assembly sequence might be subtly different than you will have if you're doing this from an OEM point of view. Secondarily, I've got to mention, I don't have an issue with the, uh, oh, the um, aftermarket uh, tail tidy I currently have installed, not at all, but Moto Dynamics reached out. I have used their products in the past and they've been pretty good. And hey, who wouldn't like to try something out? So they sent me two versions. One, uh, this one, goes under the tail and it pretty much hides the uh, license plate. It keeps it out of the way. Complies with the law because there is a light that is provided. Also, a nice thing, they provide a pre-trimmed pigtail, I'll call it a pigtail, with the correct connector so that you don't have to cut and splice wires together. That's very handy. They do that in uh, both kits. I'm going to use the other model that has the license plate hanging down a little more standard. And the only reason I'm doing that is because here in San Diego, the police can get pretty aggressive about stopping you. That's enough of an excuse for them to stop you if uh, they cannot readily see your license plate. Matter of looks, I might like that one that's tucked under better, but it's also, uh, just an, uh, a convenience factor. Nobody wants to be stopped. So I'm going to put that one on today and you are going to ride along with me as we do it. So stand by, let's get to the job. Step one, we remove the pillion cover with our ignition key, give it a twist, pops off. Next item, using a four millimeter, we removed the seat. Take care not to drop the screws. Keep your fingers on the screws, pull the seat back, and it comes right off. Next step, the overall plastic cover underneath the pillion. Using our familiar four millimeter, it snaps into and out of place. Next step, to prevent things from contacting the battery poles, or getting lost down in the motorcycle. We're dealing with some small screws. I cover the uh, battery area with a <clears throat> microfiber cloth. Next step after this is I remove the body wing covers. Again, using our four millimeter screw, uh, Allen wrench. These are body work screws. They have a little step on them. So they're peculiar to this attachment point. So uh, keep these for that purpose. Moving along, we go to the latching system for the pillion cover. From the factory, these might have a little uh, Loctite on them, so it might take a little more than standard effort to remove them. You don't really need to Loctite them in because they uh, really have nowhere to go underneath there. Okay, let's move along. Now comes the fun part. We start to push pieces out of the way. There's a bracket here that comes out that goes between the uh, hold down clamp and the back of the machine. Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. We're gonna move wires out of the way so that we can get at the two, in my case, there are two 
uh, four millimeter plus 10 millimeter, four millimeter uh, Allen bolts plus two 10 millimeter nylock nuts that hold the entire tail assembly in place. So we get the wires out of the way. All right, we get the wires out of the way. Take care, some of them are small and can get in the way. If some are, um, if you really need a lot of room, you can do um, some removal. Here is the connector to the back light on the license plate. We use a small screw. This is where a second set of hands uh, could be nice. It's clicked together. We use a small screw to push the tab together or excuse me, push the tab uh, down and out, and it comes apart as easily as that. Okay, our next job is to gain access to the 10 millimeter nuts that are holding the seat assembly in place. And there's a little trick I want to show you a shot of where those nuts are located, but uh, highly advised you get one of these, which is a magnetic retriever. This is in a narrow space and it's quite easy to drop those nuts. So have this on standby in case one does drop. Uh, here are the two nuts we're trying to remove from the back of the machine here and here. Two bolts and uh, two nuts to release. I've done a little bit of uh, pre-assembly off camera here. And uh, what I've done is moved my uh, stock turn signals to the, um, to the new Moto Dynamics license plate, uh, removed the two leads, and um, put on my uh, license plate here. Four bolts, nice stainless steel material that uh, Moto Dynamics gives you. Make sure you get the crown of the nut into the nylock so they won't vibrate loose. With the more exposed license plate uh, position, you do use reuse your stock uh, turn signals and they provide the hardware to uh, bolt those in. The standard uh, turn signals come with uh, small plastic spacers to bring them out. These don't fit on the Moto Dynamics tail tidy. I don't think they're necessary. It gives it a nice uh, compact look and I think they're uh, bright enough anyway. So did that pre-assembly before we go back and now we're gonna put it back on the bike. Last disassembly method is to remove the overall holding plate from the bottom of the machine. We won't be using the upper screw on this. It uh, screws into a, um, a pre-threaded aluminum forging. So we remove that. We're only going to be using these two uh, mounting screws here when we put it all back together again. Uh, of course, that's if we get it right. Okay, now comes the fun part. We're gonna put it uh, back under the tail of the machine. We have to thread the uh, light connector back up through the tail there, and we have to attach the right and left hand uh, turn signals. There's a slot provided in the Moto Dynamics kit that we fit those through, all these things through, so they don't get pinched. And uh, in my case, I remember, and probably in yours, that uh, the right hand turn signal has a red wire. So um, it's just the reverse, and I'm gonna do a lot of that off camera because it's really hard to do with just one pair of hands and trying to get it filmed on camera at the same time. So first thing I'm gonna do is connect the wire. To, get, uh, to keep the inner nut from falling off the bolt, just put a little dab of grease, nice grease, on the uh, inside of the socket and it won't fall off and you can hold it in place and a little grease never hurt anybody. Uh, little tip from yours truly. Okay, you can see what I mean about it getting a little hard to get a hold of, but there it is. She's in and solid as the rock of Gibraltar. Uh, it's a uh, 20, 30 minute job for uh, somebody that uh, maybe has done a couple, three of these before and perhaps uh, a little longer <laughs> by yourself. Uh, invite a friend over, buy him a beer and have him hold one end of those darn bolts for you. And uh, secondarily, um, 
uh, just uh, take your time, be cautious, those wires are small. Hey, let's check it out. License plate, check. Right turn signal, check. Left turn signal, check. <clears throat> Hey, there you are. Okay, uh, first things first, last things last, I guess. Uh, finally, we just button everything up and uh, we take care to route the wires. We don't want to pinch them. There are some pretty important ones connecting to the back of the machine here. By the way, here is your Optimate uh, pigtail to connect with the lithium battery on your Aprilia. So I'll leave the camera running, I'll speed it up and you'll just see me putting things back together again here. And you wanna put this so that uh, when you do wanna use a battery charger, which I have yet to do for this lithium, I probably should. Uh, I'm just gonna put it where that when the time comes, I can have relatively easy access to it. I'm going to try and uh, leave it out over there. <clears throat> you won't hear any of that because I'm going to hurry this up. Okay, back to reassembly. Let's check to see if the latch works. It does. Seat goes on. Remember that? That thing you sit on? And uh, once again, Take care not to lose the bolts. One of the last bits to go on, and one of my favorite, if you put it on the right way, and one of my favorite design artifacts on the whole machine is this uh, really beautiful little, there you go. Had to fiddle with the battery uh, maintainer extension a little bit to get her on there, but I think that's very pretty. Okay, the machine is reassembled. I'll put it up, pull it out into the uh, sunlight to get a couple of uh, nicer shots. Final thoughts. Motodynamic uh, tail tidy. Relatively easy install. It's just fiddly getting in there with your fingers and things. Nice uh, compact design. Comes on very solid. I think it's a pretty enough piece. Quality hardware provided. And uh, I would rate this about a, out of a 10 scale. I'd rate this about a six or a seven. Not because it's difficult to do, but only uh, just tight uh, quarters to be working in. Kudos to them for providing pre-cut uh, pigtails and wires and a uh, seal piece to keep it uh, relatively waterproof for those of you that live in wetter environments. And I'm going to close by saying I'm going to keep this on. I kind of like the way it looks, compact out of the way and improves the look of the machine with this uh, beautiful uh, pillion cover that uh, Aprilia provides. So thumbs up Moto Dynamics. thanks. Hope this was useful to you folks. Uh, go ahead and try it. I think it's an excellent piece. See you later.